Hey everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're diving into the world of Korean dramas, but with a twist, action-packed series that will keep you on the edge of your seat. From intense fight scenes to gripping storylines, I'm counting down the top 10 action Korean series you definitely don't want to miss. Let's jump right in. Number 10. Bloodhounds. Bloodhounds is a thrilling K-drama on Netflix that explores dark themes and violence while maintaining a balance of optimism. The series follows the story of two aspiring boxers who fight against corruption, drawing strength from their friendship and love for each other. One another factor we believe made Bloodhounds what it is, is the pain it brings to the viewer. For an entire episode, it's hard to believe that it is a work of fiction rather than a true incident unfolding in front of your eyes. Rating. 8.1. Number 9. Taxi Driver. The storyline of Taxi Driver was inspired by a distressing incident of workplace violence and bullying. The character An go -un, played by Pyo Yi Jin, had a backstory involving her late older sister related to the UDATA case. Graduate whose mother was murdered when he was young. Since he could not take revenge on the man who murdered his mother, he now works as a taxi driver for a company which offers a revenge call service to its clients who have been wronged and helps them take revenge. That is, until I binge-watched both seasons of Taxi Driver. First and foremost, and just to clarify, Taxi Driver is not a show where romance at the forefront. Taxi Driver is at its core a revenge story, and also part of one of my favorite genres, Found Family of Misfits. Rating. 8.2 over 10. Number 8. My Name. My Name is a 2021 South Korean action crime thriller television series directed by Kim Jin Min and starring Han So Hee, Park Hee Soon, and An Bo Yun. The series revolves around a woman who joins a gang to avenge her father's death and then becomes the gang's mole inside the police force. After a grueling knife fight, Ji Woo seems all but left for dead until she turns Mew Jin's own knife on him, plunging it into his gut. He tries to fire the gun at her, but there are no more bullets in the chamber. Ji Woo stabs him in the chest one final time and watches him die. My name is sure shot worth watching action thriller, which hooks you up with the gripping narration, terrific twists, riveting fight sequences and a decent plot. Rating. 7.2 over 10. Number 7. Sweet Home. Sweet Home is a 2020-2024 South Korean apocalyptic horror and action television series starring Song Kong, Lee Jin Wook, and Lee Si Young. It is based on the Naver webtoon of the same name by Kim Carnby and Wang Young Chan, which recorded over 2.1 billion net views. The first season was released on Netflix on December 18, 2020. The second season was released on December 1, 2023. The third and final season was released on July 19, 2024. The series centers on Cha Yun Su, a troubled teenager who, along with his fellow residents of the Green Home Apartment Complex, must fend off a relentless horde of monsters threatening their humanity. It is gritty, dark, and somewhat confusing. All that being said, I really and unexpectedly loved this show. The weirdness of it intrigued me in the first episode, and by episode 3 I was fully hooked. The characters are really, really great and you can't help but root for them to survive. Rating. 7.3 over 10. Number 6. Crash Landing on You. Crash Landing on You is one of K-dramas based on true stories. Yoon Se-ri, Sun Yi Jin, a heiress of a big firm, crash lands in North Korea after a paragliding accident. Ri Jung Hyuk, played by Yun Bin, finds her and helps her return to her homeland. Amid several obstacles and chaos, the two fall in love. A paragliding mishap drops a South Korean heiress in North Korea and into the life of an army officer, who decides he will help her hide. Watch all you want. Love recognizes no borders in this whirlwind romance starring superstars Yun Bin and Sun Yi Jin. Well, it has been so long since I last watched Crash Landing on You, but as far as I remember, Cho Chul Gang was state security officer and the villain of this drama. Although Crash Landing on You was released in 2021, it continues to be hailed as one of the most outstanding K-dramas to date. The cross-border romance between the main characters from South and North Korea gave the tale a distinctive twist. Rating. 8.7 over 10. Number 5. The Glory. The event took place in 2006 at a school for girls in Changju, Korea. A girl in the ninth grade of the school became an unfortunate target of three other girls from the same school. 
They brutally tortured the victim for more than 20 days. The tortures included burning the girl with a curling wand. Dong Un and Yo Jung both get jobs at the prison Young Xian's been transferred to, Dong Un as a teacher, and Yo Jung as a doctor. Now, Dong Un will become Yo Jung's executioner. The series ends with them, at long last, admitting they love each other. There should definitely be a trigger warning for people who have had experience with bullying and abuse, but otherwise it is a really great show. You find yourself being invested in all the characters, whether they are antagonists or not. Rating. 8.1 over 10. Number 4. The Uncanny Counter. The plot of The Uncanny Counter is quite simple. It's about a high school kid with a disability who was involved in an accident which killed his parents and now he is a chosen host for what they call, counters. The job of the counters is to catch evil spirits roaming around Yung District. Chol Zhang was the strongest counter among the former quartet. He was killed by Chung Sin in a fierce one-on-one -on -one battle. There are two potential romantic pairings in the uncanny counter, despite the show's supernatural action theme. While Choi Jang Mul openly expressed his feelings for Chu Mei Ok and even went on a date with her in the last episode, So Moon introducing Ha Na to their parents was a hint that they might end up together. However, maybe some viewers may like this season if they are looking for more action and less dark character drama moments from the first season. I highly recommend season 1 as a standalone series. It is one of my favorite K-dramas. Rating. 8 over 10. Number 3. The K-2. The K-2 is a 2016 South Korean television series starring Ji Chong-wook, Song Yoon-ha and I am Yoon-ha. A highly trained special ops agent goes off the grid after being framed for murder. His lover, Renaya, was killed for interpreting classified information that others weren't meant to hear, that we know of. But what caught everyone off guard is that it turns out Park Gwon Su sold weaponry to these criminals in Iraq in exchange for something vital. After is hired as a bodyguard when the powerful and influential father of a troubled girl sees his skills. Kim Ja Ha is a former soldier for hire. He is also called K2. He is hired as a bodyguard by Choi Yu Jin. Wonderful narrative, excellent writing, intriguing cinematic action scenes, and great cast and crew. Ji Chong Wook's performance as Kim Ja Ha was outstanding. I'm always fangirling his works, he's that good. Cheers for an absolutely fabulous action packed series. Loved it, you can definitely watch it. It's quite okay, truthfully. The BGS and quite a bit of cinematography were interesting as well. They had such a strong story, and it could have really been fantastic. Rating 7.8 over 10. Number 2. Big Mouth. I love K-drama in thriller genre. So I obviously loved The Big Mouth. The only problem is there are so many unsolved questions to solve and you couldn't help but overthink to build theories and making several assumptions. The plot, actors are super good. Synopsis. The series tells the story of an underperforming lawyer who gets caught up in a murder case. In order to survive and protect his family, he digs into a huge conspiracy among the privileged upper classes. Park Chong Ho. Lee Jong Suk works as a lawyer with a measly 10% winning rate. He is a talkative person and, because of this people call him Big Mouth. He happens to get involved in a murder case and he is somehow fingered as genius swindler Big Mouse. If you're looking for intrigue and shock, then Big Mouth has it for you. The plot is fast-paced, gripping and ticks all the thriller checkboxes. There are twists and turns, alliances and political games, and a realistic look at how hierarchies and power structures work. Rating. 7.9 over 10. Number 1. Healer. Healer. Is an action-packed series with an amazing romance running in parallel. It is sure to keep you hooked from the very first episode. Whether you are a newbie to this world of dramas, or a veteran, Healer. Is a must-watch for you. It has drama, suspense, comedy, action and one of the best romance in Korean dramas. Ji Chong-wook is such an amazing actor to be able to transform from being healer to Park Bong-su. Park Min-young is a great actress and so lovable as Chai Young-shin. A decades-old incident involving a group of five friends who ran an illegal pro-democracy broadcasting station during the Fifth Republic in South Korea brings together three different people, an illegal, night courier, with the codename, Healer, Ji Chong-wook, who possesses top-notch fighting skills. It was a really happy ending. I loved Healer so much.
Healer is a one of the best K-dramas in K-drama history and gives us a happy ending. Rating. 8.4 over 10. That's it for today's countdown. I hope you found your next binge-worthy show. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more recommendations. Let me know in the comments which series you're excited to watch or if I missed any of your favorites. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.